Barry Evans is a Texas cotton farmer facing a severe drought. This year, from August of 21 to August of 2022, we had about an inch and a half of rainfall. Extreme heat and lack of precipitation forced the fourth generation farmer to walk away from 75% of his cotton crop. And Evans is not alone. Across Texas, farmers are expected to abandon roughly 69% of cotton acres that they planted earlier this year. The Lone Star State accounts for about 40% of U.S. cotton production. It's been one of the harshest growing years that we have ever seen historically, all the way back to the 1950s. The drought could cost cotton farmers and related industries in Texas $3.2 billion in 2022. Rising input costs are impacting farmers as well. This past year, our chemicals went up two to 300 percent. Our fertilizer more than doubled in price. And it's not just a lack of rainwater and rising costs that are hurting cotton farmers. The Ogallala Aquifer, one of the world's largest fresh groundwater resources and a major source of water for the state of Texas, is being depleted. The underground lake, which stretches across eight states, could be exhausted in the next 80 years, due in part to farmers pumping groundwater for irrigation. Declining water levels have forced cotton farmers to convert much of their irrigated fields back to dry land. While drier conditions and a lack of water are a concern for farmers, new varieties of cotton could help future producers to maintain their yields.